guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the folded pot holder. So I was browsing on Pinterest and I found this beautiful pattern and I thought I have to make you. After making this pattern, I found how easy, simple, quick it was to make and I knew I had to share it with you. If at any point in my video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I do release two new videos every week and they cover so much range of different types of projects. You're not going to want to miss out. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I have inserted a really cute little video. I was video editing the other day and found a video of somebody intruding into my office, pushing the record button, and it's, it's pretty cute. You're going to want to check it out. So let's go ahead and dive into what materials you're going to need to make this really nice pot holder. The materials that we're going to need to make the folded pot holder is a cotton yarn. This is a super size or what's left of my super sized Lily Sugar and Cream roll. Um, you're going to want something a little bigger or just a little bit more than the small original size Lily Sugar and Cream roll. The pot holder will use just just a small amount past that roll. At least that was my experience when I was making my other example pot holders. Um, you're gonna want a size H8 five millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle or a yarn needle. You're going to want a pair of scissors and you're gonna want either a row marker, a safety pin, or I am using the paper clip just for anyone who might not have a row marker clip. You can also use a little strip of yarn, just a little three inch cut of scrap yarn that you can use. This pattern is actually going to be worked in rounds in circles. So we want to be able to identify where that first stitch is so we can count how many rows we have made. Sound good? Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into making this folded pot holder. To begin, we're going to create our slip knot, just a small tail because we're going to use our row marker. A slip knot. Great. Make sure it has that good tension on your crochet hook. You're going to chain 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, 42, 43, 44, 45. Perfect. Okay, you're going to single crochet in the second stitch from your hook. So one, two. I put two loops on the top, one loop on the bottom. So I'll insert my hook right there with two on the top, one on the bottom. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. There's one single crochet. Go ahead and put one single crochet in each space all the way to the end. Two, three, four, and last space, 44. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is we're actually going to flip our work this direction. So now we're looking at the bottom side of our foundation row. Okay. So here we are. We're going to single crochet in that bottom stitch. You can leave the tail out. That's fine. Just like this. Great. Okay. And then one single crochet in this bottom stitch one single crochet in this bottom stitch. Perfect. And you're going to keep going all the way across to the end of this row, putting one single crochet in the other space of that foundation row. Okay. One single crochet in each one of these spaces. So it starts to make this oval shape look. Okay. So keep going. All right, here we go, 43, and last space right here, 
44 great okay so what we're gonna do now this was our row one now we're gonna make it into a round we're going to single crochet in the back loop only so we're gonna be turning back onto this side we find that first single crochet of the row okay first single crochet Look at the top of the crochets to find our V shapes. We're gonna put our crochet hook inside that V and only go underneath that back loop only. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. And that is your first single crochet, back loop only. We're gonna take our row marker and place it inside that first single crochet. That is the first stitch of row two or round two, okay? Next space, we're going to find the top of the V of that stitch, insert our crochet hook in the middle of that V, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and continue doing this all the way around all the way around this whole side. Then we're gonna turn it and keep going with those stitches. One single crochet, back loop only, wrapping around to the other side of the work, okay? So I'm going to do a few more with you and then I will meet you at the end of round two. Over, pull through. Next stitch, find the V, middle of the V, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, find the V, back loop only, there we go. All right, coming up on that first stitch, here we go. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to remove my row marker, ta row marker paper clip for round three through round 20. It's all going to be the same. It's just going to be one single crochet in the back loop only of every single stitch. Okay. So I'm going to take my row marker, place it in stitch number one. And every time I come upon it, I'm just going to remove the row marker, put a, a stitch, a single crochet back loop only in that space, and then replace my row marker, okay? So every single space, single one single crochet back loop only for the entire length of round three through the end of round 20. I wanted you to see the other side of this. So it'll start curving upwards like this. Okay, on the ends, you'll just keep going with just one single crochet, back loop only, in each space all the way around that turn, okay? It helps to just keep lifting it up. So continue on and I will meet you at the very end of round 20 to show you what to do next. Okay, I have reached round 20. If you are curious about how to count your rows, maybe you're just not sure where you're at, remember that the very first row of back loop onlys was our second row. So this would be, this little line would be our second row, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you just count all of these front loops that got left behind, okay? All the way to 20 and then you stop. So looking at this shape, you might be curious as to how I'm gonna make this shape look like the pot holder <laughs> that I showed you in the very beginning. And all you do is you take it upright, 
find the inside corner, inside corner here, and then lay it flat that way. And this side, find the inside corner, lay it flat that way. Just bring those together, flatten it out, and you've got your square. Pretty great, right? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that cool? Okay, so we are in the middle, when we do this, we are actually in the middle of this creation, the middle of this square. And we actually want to get to one side or the other. That way we can then sew them together, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove my row marker paper clip. And I'm gonna continue my work since this is the side that I'm on. And I'm going to finish doing a single crochets, back loops only, just to follow the pattern all the way to this corner. That way I can go ahead and tie off my yarn, okay? So back loop only, single crochet. All right, I'm gonna check my work here, see where I'm at. Oh, I went a little too far. So I'm just gonna take those out. Line those up. Perfect, okay, my stitch, oh, I'll go one more over because I want it right there on that side of the work. I actually saw one pattern give this pot holder like a little loop on the top. And I thought that was great and very resourceful, very useful. So all you're gonna have to do to give this pot holder a little loop on the top to hang from is chain 10. So from right where we are, go ahead and chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to slip stitch back into the work to attach. So I'm going to fold this down so I can see where it's leveled. The next space over, so if I'm right there, the next space over is where I'm going to slip stitch into. Okay, next space. Put my crochet hook in, yarn over, pull through, pull all the way through. That way that loop is attached. Pretty great, right? That's it. Now go ahead and cut your yarn because we are now going to take our yarn and we're going to sew our two sides together to keep this together, okay? You're gonna want as much yarn as will go one direction across and back again. That's, that's how much of yarn you're gonna wanna cut off. And then we'll cut off right, right here. Okay, put this yarn aside. I'm going to yarn over with my crochet hook, pull through that loop to make that knot and seal it up. Then I'm going to put my crochet hook aside and grab either my yarn needle or my tapestry needle. Thread the, the yarn through the needle. Sew these two pieces together. So I'll take the next space of this row insert my yarn needle, find the next space over of this row, and thread that through. Okay, then I'll bring the yarn back across, go to the next space down, insert my needle, find the next space over, insert my needle, and pull it through. 
and then pull this tight and it just blends in with the work. Bring your yarn over to this side. Find the next space, the next stitch. Find the next space, next stitch. Pull it through. Bring it across. And just follow this all the way down, guys, to the very end. There we go. Now we're just going to insert our crochet or insert our yarn needle into the work, pull it up, but hold on to the yarn. Twist the yarn so it makes like a little X shape. Insert your yarn needle on the bottom and through, and then slowly feed it through, and it forms a knot, a slip knot. Then take your needle, insert your hook back in the middle of the work. Middle of the work. Bring it in, up. Okay. Take our scissors, cut off the slack. And that's it guys. That is the folded pot holder. Ready to go. A friend of mine actually did mention that she wasn't very fond of the fact that it could open like this. So if you wanted to keep it flat, look how thick it is, guys. That is awesome. But if you want to keep it a flat shape and that it does not ever lose this flat shape, you can always go ahead and thread more of this colored yarn into your yarn needle, tapestry needle, and then just sew like a box shape right in the middle and then it will hold its form and stay flat and not poof out, okay? But that's personal preference. You can absolutely just stop right here and be done. All right guys, what did you think of the folded pot holder? I'm actually loving the pattern. I'm loving the thickness, the way it feels, the way it looks. It's by far one of my favorite crochet pot holders, by far. Uh, if you did like this tutorial, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, that way you don't miss any of my videos. If you liked this pot holder video, you might also like my other pot holder videos or my washcloth videos or any of my home-based crochet videos. Uh, go ahead and check out these videos right here, which are all my home-based crochet videos check out this video right here which is just a recommended video for you to watch well thank you so much for joining me today i always love crocheting with you i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you with my next video bye finished? You finished this? Where's the camera that I'm supposed to? Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, so I want this. I want it. It's so fun. I don't want to eat it.
thing. I'm just trying to make this random, like, scene. Can you hear me? I, I don't know. This is nice. 